Hey everyone, day three out here, and we just finished up some of our cleaning. So we've got our bar owl here in the office, and we're going to talk a little bit more about barred owls today. So this is our barred owl. Her name is Cypress. We named her that because that's one of the areas you would see barred owls in a lot of times, it's those cypress areas, lots of the wetland type areas. These birds love to eat all those wetland creatures, frogs, salamanders, uh, crayfish, fish, those wetland water snakes. And so we gave her that name of Cypress. Now they get that name barred owl because you can see on their chest feathers that they've got all those dark brown bars going down their chest. Now, lots of people refer to these as crepuscular. You know, everyone seems to know that word nocturnal, active at night and asleep during the day. Crepuscular means active at dawn and dusk. And so one of this bird's nicknames is actually the rain owl. On a really cloudy, rainy day like we had for what seems like the last month, uh, these birds could be active all day long. And so they kind of just like a little bit of light, a little bit of dark. Now these are a type of owl that does make a hooting noise. Lots of people think again that all owls hoot. That's not true. But barred owls do make a hooting noise. I don't know if she'll do one for us. We'll see if she'll maybe make a hoot for us. Uh, lots of times I can get her to talk to me. They sound a little bit like who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. It sounds a little bit like... And so that's one of the ways you can identify these birds is you can hear them a lot of times. Now, like I said, they're gonna be living in those wetland areas. So you can see them in the forest a lot of times. Uh, if you've got some kind of lake or stream, uh, a little creek that goes behind your house, you may have these birds near your neighborhood. We get calls a lot of times about people talking about monkeys hollering in the woods or women screaming in their woods. We know exactly what bird they're talking about when they say that. It's going to be the barred owl. Because these birds are one of the eight different species of owls that we have here in Alabama. Um, they're probably one of the most common. They're actually one of the most common species of raptors that we get admitted into our facility. Uh, I think last year we got almost 60 barred owls admitted to our facility. And so these birds are common all over Alabama and really all over the eastern part of the U.S. They don't go very far out west. They have been uh, moving a little bit further and further out west, which is causing some problems because they look very similar uh, to the spotted owls, which are an endangered species. And there's some things going on between them and spotted owls. And so we're trying to keep them here in the eastern U.S., but they are common all over the place around here. Now, Cypress is with us because she's another imprint, another human imprint. So she was found as a baby and someone kept her for too long. Like we talked about the other day, uh, you can't own these birds as pets. If you find them as a baby, the best thing to do is you need to get them to a rehabilitator within 24 hours if for whatever reason you can't place them back in their nest or even just leave them alone. Like we said, the parents will still care for them if they're on the ground. And so this one was actually kept for a little bit too long when it was brought to our facility. We put it on the exam table and it walked right over to our veterinarian, in which case we knew that this bird would probably never be able to be released back into the wild. Now we do have foster parents here at the Raptor Center. Uh, so lots of times we will try and place the babies, the young ones with those foster parents and try and get them to recognize their own species as who they really are. Uh, but unfortunately that didn't work with just this one. Uh, she actually, the foster parent actually refused her uh, and so she was too far gone already, I guess. And so she'll live with us the rest of her life. And so again, she does all those educational programs with us. We do about 300 shows across the Southeast each and every year. And Cypress is one, one, one of the ones that we take to those presentations. Uh, she's a crowd favorite among lots of them because sometimes she is very talkative. It looks like today she's not going to tell us much. Uh, but she does again make that hooting noise and these are one of the eight species of owls that are found right here in alabama we've got cypress back in her enclosure it's been cleaned by us it's ready for her and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video uh, keep tuning in let us know in the comments if you've got any more questions about barred owls if you want us to show you any other species um, or just what's on your mind uh, thanks for tuning in keep sharing these videos war eagle